All right, let's turn to uh, the China stuff, which uh, 60 Minutes did a great job on, uh, dug in nice and deep, and for all my giggles at uh, the Channel 9 newspapers from time to time, all due credit here. This one was uh, Uphill and Downdale, an excellent uh, story. Trudy McIntosh follows on with the allegations that were made uh, last night and reinforced today in those newspapers that China wanted to buy a spot in the federal parliament. Bombshell spy allegations rock federal parliament. Uh, this is a state-sponsored attempt to infiltrate our parliament. After 60 Minutes reveals details of an alleged Chinese plot to plant a candidate in the Melbourne seat of Chisholm at the last election. I find the allegations deeply disturbing and troubling. Car dealer Nick Zhao found dead in mysterious circumstances in March after he told ASIO he was approached and offered a million dollars to run for the Liberal Party. Everyone should be concerned about the way that Nick... Zhao died, and I think we need a full investigation. In a rare statement, Australia's intelligence agency confirming it was previously aware of the matter and is actively investigating it. As for the current member for Chisholm, Liberal MP Gladys Liu continues to come under scrutiny for her ties to suspect Chinese donors. But her colleagues say there is no evidence that the Communist Party's plot ever came to fruition. It comes as ASIO and Home Affairs are seriously considering the asylum request of a man claiming to be a former Chinese spy. Once I go back, I will be dead. Asylum claims are assessed on their merits through an independent process. Wang Li Chung alleges the Chinese government used front companies to influence campaigns in Hong Kong and interfere in Taiwan's elections. If I don't tell the truth, the Australian government will not protect me. Can you guarantee the safety of Mr Wang and his family while his asylum claim is processed? Uh, well, he, he's in Australia. <laughs> he's in Australia and we have the rule of law in Australia. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra. Well, Janine, I think you and I were sitting here when it was, uh, yay, we've got a free trade agreement with China, and we're going, well, hang on, what about this? Do we always have to sign up to everything that China does here? Um, Andrew Bolt's done an excellent job uh, uh, pulling these things apart uh, for the last little while, particularly at the Gladys Liu case and so much more that's around there. So let's sort of jump to where we are today. Well, let's just pick up on Scott Morrison's claim there. Lovely of him to say we're in Australia with such confidence, but all the evidence we're seeing is that that doesn't stop China. They follow people here. They harass people here. And as for there's no evidence that they've bought a place, I think the evidence is now starting to pile up. I think we're now getting to a point of saying, how do we know someone has it? I mean, it's only that one brave person has come out and it's very rare to have somebody in the, with these knowledge of the security services come out. But the thing that gets me the most, I'm sorry, Richo, but Paul Keating should come out and apologise. That Those comments he made last week, a reflection on our security agencies, mm. not to mention the media, when all this is piling up, I mean, this is terrible stuff. What we're seeing. Well, today. we should point out well, too. Well, no, we're going to Well, I was going to say, but we, we should point out. Got nothing to do with me. Labor's to Labor. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you're following the, the government oh, to the death. <laughs> Can I just say though, is that ASIO did come out and say uh, we were aware of this stuff before mm. it was made public. So very rare for them to confirm it. I, I saw that last night. Correct. So well, this is serious. That's a very big part yeah. of the deal, Richo. Look. We're going to, we're going to, I think we've got to push back. The problem is, is that our, econ our economy is all in on China. China we still has have shown, to push back. Well, I agree. We but China we... have shown. Oh well, oh, sorry. We'll just make it slightly difficult for you to get this cup of this cup of. As we saw with Bellamy and that food uh, production company we talked about last week, where you start to move away the uh, move away the permits, and then you buy the company for for half. So we've got to push back, but they're going to push back even harder. Yeah, they, they are. Um, th this is not going to be. A pleasant thing for Australia. Nope. Um, and in the end, you, we're probably stand to lose something. But we have to stand. You can't just be rolled over. You can't just say to the big boy in the playground, OK, you can have I my agree. lollies. I agree. It's all right. You can have my lunch. You can have whatever. You, you can't say it. And I, uh, I think we, we, we just need to say to the Chinese, hang on. This is a bit rich. Well, I think it's that thing where we turn around and I think locally we need to step up that diplomacy about the Pacific Islands. If that's going to cost a bit of extra money, well, OK, I understand that's the case. So, number one, our part of the world. Secondly, we should be as many of those freedom of navigation things around the South China Sea and as loudly as possible. I would yank 
uh, many of the uh, some serious things inside our universities. I'd be having about a one week inquiry into exposing all of those things. Where does the money come from? Who has control over things like the Confucius Institute? Boot, 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 and, and plenty more on top. And of it. be a bit more careful who we are giving Australian citizenship to and Correct. residency. We, and you shouldn't be able to have, buy it. We have clamped down a lot, but it's pretty clear that a lot of people came in, yep. they could wave a few million, buy a Harbourside mansion with illicit funds, and that was Absolutely all. Absolutely correct. And I think we should be able to go back and revise them, and we need to put more people. One of the things that ASIO that they're saying is they just haven't got the resources to deal with it. Now, we've had our focus on terrorism, and that was quite right, but there is another threat growing here that is just as big a threat mm. to this country, and that's true. But you'd have to double ASIO. I mean, one of the problems you've got here is just sheer numbers, right? You've got 1.2 million people in round figures of of Australian heritage, Chinese Australian heritage. So that's a hell of a lot of people, right? You're not going to watch them with with a, with a couple of blokes. That's going to require a huge number of Maybe people. not all 1.2 million are suspect. No, but also, no, but, 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 but also, but also you've got to make sure that there's a genuine attempt at bipartisanship about this because you can see that if a government tries to clamp, then an opposition, regardless of Team Red, Team Blue, starts to turn around and say, oh, look at all of these votes we can start to push towards. Rowan, your thoughts on all of this? Yeah, well, there are two... Uh, you're talking about uh, Chinese immigration into Australia. There are basically, uh, without simplifying it too much, two sorts of Chinese in Australia of recent years, and that are those who basically still support the China, Chinese motherland and those who are absolutely terrified of it. And there's plenty of Chinese immigrants who are absolutely terrified of China. However they got out, I mean, the young man on the telly is, is the kind of extreme example, but there's plenty of people uh, who were doctors, who had, had good lives in China, but were uh, absolutely terrified of the regime. And they got to Australia, they love the, the democracy, the freedoms of Australia, and they see us throwing those freedoms away uh, because we are so cavalier about those freedoms and they can't believe it. And those are the Chinese who sit there just aghast mm. that we have let China get away with so much. I agree. All right.